We can't get away from this heat, though. After all, you know, it is the summertime. So wrapping up July, heading toward August, and you're going to be diving into a pool because we're going to triple digits making a comeback. Let's see what we have for our live shot here on a Tuesday. Well, that's right out there. That's Sutter Health Park. Cats, I, our cats aren't in town, but we do have our cameras still showing you what it looks like from, of course, out across center field and all the way out toward downtown Sacramento with the Tower Bridge off to the left. Let's take a look at our temperatures and see how we're doing right now. We got 94 in Sacramento, pretty close to seasonally right on the mark. 97 Stockton, 96 Modesto, 92 for Marysville, so about five to eight degrees warmer than 24 hours ago. Here's a look at your humidity, which is at 23%. Dew points are into the 50s. They were a little higher than that, most likely earlier today with that subtropical moisture and that cloud cover we had this morning. Winds are out of the north northwest at 18. Barometric pressure is 29.71. So we did have that subtropical moisture. We were watching it last night. It came in from the east and it moved off to the west, and now it's moving up to the north, and this is where it sits right now. High pressure, you can see the circulation with it right there. That is dragging up this stuff out of northern Mexico. It's a annual thing. Thing that happens, especially down here, it usually lasts about two or three months during the summer. Every once in a while, it drifts up into the Sierra, and every once in a while, like today, it drifts a little farther off to the west. So it looks like this high pressure is going to pretty much stay in place. It'll wobble a little bit. This low will wobble a little bit, but we're looking at our daytime highs tomorrow as this high pressure builds in to probably be close to 100 to 105 degrees for most valley locations. There's your shot of extra wet weather in the higher elevations in the form of a shower or a thunderstorm. And guess what? We'll do it all again just in time for Thursday, probably Friday. And then after that, we'll start to cool down a bit because this will push off to the east and we'll start to try to draw in some cooler air. But we're talking daytime highs in the mid 90s for the last day of July and the first day of August, and that's coming up this weekend. All right, so here's a peak for tomorrow. Upper 90s, low 100s, northern San Joaquin Valley under mostly sunny skies. For Wednesday around the Sacramento area, we'll top out at about 103 degrees, 103 over toward Vacaville under mostly sunny conditions, 102 out toward Folsom. For tonight in the gold country, morning lows will be right around the upper 60s and lower 70s. Daytime highs are going to be most likely in the 90s everywhere, probably 94 for Pollock Pines, mostly sunny, almost 100 for Auburn. Up in Plumas County, you're going to have a chance for some haze and some smoke up there. Daytime highs will be warmer than today because of some of that cloud cover. Quincy didn't get out of the uh, 70s, but tomorrow you're into the 90s. Chance for showers and thunderstorms returning up there around the greater Lake Tahoe area. Highs in the mid 80s and over toward the coast. We're going to have a nice sea breeze, lower 70s for Monterey, mid 80s for San Jose. Up toward San Francisco, we're going to be topping out fairly comfortably there, but we'll have a strong sea breeze, but topping out nearly 70. Mid 60s up toward Fort Bragg and upper 90s and gusty. Some gusts coming in through the delta gusting at around 25 miles per hour. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and it shows you triple digits for three days and then we're about seasonal as we say goodbye to July. Hello to August and hello to some mid 90s. We'll keep it seasonal for Monday and Tuesday for the coast over the next seven days. Fairly comfortable. Eh, pretty toasty for portions of the foothills about the next five days or so. And there's that monsoon moisture stretching from Wednesday all the way to the tail end of the weekend. Tony. All right, Dave, thanks.